Tiny feathers in the snow Flitting fast where the cold winds blow A cardinal bright, a jay so blue They sing a song just for you Hopping, darting, oh so spry Like ornaments against the sky Little wings of wonder, they make me smile Dancing through the pine trees mile by mile Chickadees and robins, a festive sight Little Wings of Wonder. You know that feeling when the first snowflake of the season starts to drift past your window? The whole world seems to go quiet, getting tucked under a blanket of white. And then right in the middle of all that gray and white, you see it, an unexpected, brilliant flash of color that just changes everything. It's a Northern Cardinal, and his scarlet feathers are so vivid, they almost seem to be glowing. In that one single moment, winter stops being about what's gone, and it becomes a season of quiet wonder. It honestly feels like a little gift, doesn't it? So what is it about that sight that feels so special? It's definitely more than just a pretty bird. It's a story about resilience, about survival, and about feeling this connection to life when it seems like everything else is asleep. And that's exactly what we're gonna dive into. While so many birds pack up and head south for the winter, there's this special group that sticks around. They offer this steady, reassuring presence right through the coldest months, and they remind us that life is tough and it persists, even in the harshest conditions. You know, there's a real comfort in that reliability. Seeing the same little birds show up at your feeder day after day, it builds a genuine sense of connection. And on those short, dark winter days, that little bit of life, that steady presence, can make all the difference. And if you're looking for the perfect example of winter vitality, you have got to meet the chickadee. I mean, this tiny bird just bounces through snow-covered branches with this infectious, cheerful energy that completely laughs in the face of freezing temperatures. And here's the thing that'll blow your mind. A chickadee weighs less than half an ounce. All of that energy, that incredible survival instinct is packed into a body that weighs less than two quarters. It's just, wow. It's absolutely astonishing when you stop and think about it. And they're not always flying solo. In the winter, a lot of these species team up to form these amazing little traveling troops. The chickadees are often the leaders, you know, sounding the alarm. They're joined by a search party of nuthatches and titmice, and you'll hear the constant drumming of a downy woodpecker providing the percussion, while a little brown creeper spirals up a tree trunk, playing its own specialist role. It's a brilliant strategy for finding more food and keeping everyone safe. So you see, their magic isn't just something poetic. It's backed by some seriously impressive biology. And understanding how they pull it off doesn't ruin the wonder at all. If anything, it makes you appreciate them even more. Okay, look at this. This really shows you the challenge these birds are up against. They're warm-blooded, right? They have to keep their core temperature at around 105 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 40 Celsius. Now, imagine doing that when the air around you is below freezing. They have to fight to maintain that huge temperature difference every minute of every day just to stay alive. So how in the world do they do it? Well, for starters, they have the ultimate winter coat. Seriously, they actually grow extra fluffy, downy feathers for the winter, which can boost their insulation by up to 50%. These layers trap air, creating this incredibly efficient personal heating system that's better than any jacket we could ever buy. But you're probably wondering, what about their bare feet standing on ice and snow all day? This is where nature's engineering gets really, really cool. It's a system called Counter Current Heat Exchange, and it is just a brilliant design. Okay, here's how it works. You've got warm blood flowing from the body down to the feet in the arteries. Well, those arteries run right next to the veins that are carrying cold blood back up. As they pass each other, the warm blood transfers most of its heat to the cold blood before that cold blood gets back to the body's core. The result? The bird's core stays nice and toasty while its feet stay just warm enough to not freeze. It's incredible! Now, all of that amazing biological tech requires a ton of fuel. To keep that internal furnace burning, a single tiny chickadee might need to eat two or three hundred seeds a day. To put that in perspective for us, the human equivalent would be like you or me eating about 150 pounds of seeds every single day. 
So it's no surprise, with this incredible resilience and how visible they are during the holidays, that these birds have become woven deep into our human culture and traditions. They've become these really powerful symbols of the season. Take the European robin, for example. Ever wonder why it's on so many Christmas cards? Well, the story goes that back in the Victorian era, the postmen who delivered all the holiday mail wore these bright red uniforms. People affectionately started calling them robins. It wasn't long before artists began putting the actual bird on Christmas cards to symbolize the arrival of good news and holiday cheer. And for a lot of people, the cardinal has an even deeper, more personal meaning. Seeing one, especially during the holidays, is often felt as a comforting message from a loved one who has passed away. It's this powerful, personal symbol of hope and connection, right when we might need it most. So here's the best part of all this. You don't just have to read about it or see it in a video. You can actually participate in this magic. You can create your very own winter haven right in your backyard. And I'm not talking about some huge, elaborate setup. It's actually pretty simple. By providing just a few key things, you can turn your yard from a place birds just fly over into a bustling winter destination for these remarkable little survivors. All you need to remember are these three keys. First, food. High energy stuff like black oil sunflower seeds is perfect. Second, water. An unfrozen source of water, maybe from a heated bird bath, is an absolute magnet when everything else is frozen solid. And finally, shelter. A few evergreen shrubs or even just a simple brush pile gives them a place to escape the wind and hide from predators. In the end, I think the real magic of winter birds is their ability to turn an ordinary moment into something truly special, an experience of connection and awe. They're a constant reminder that even in the coldest, darkest times, the world is absolutely full of life and resilience and beauty. You just have to look. Greeting Little Wings of Wonders, I'm Bradley Barker, creator of Little Wings of Wonder. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I want people to know that Little Wings of Wonder is not just a YouTube series, but a series of books as well. You can buy, purchase the books at major retailers such as Barnes & Noble and Amazon. Uh, we have a whole series, uh, Little Wings of Wonder, the uh, book on hummingbirds, Inside the Fascinating World of Hummingbirds. We also have one called Little Wings of Wonder, Butterfly Magic from Caterpillar to Garden. And also, for those of you who wish to purchase gifts for the holiday, we have a new one called Little Wings of Wonder, Holiday Birds, A Festive Guide to Winter's Feathered Friends. So I hope you enjoyed the series, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.